than two months before Austin police are supposed to start wearing body cameras, one of the companies that lost the bid to Taser International has convinced a court judge to temporarily halt the start of that program. And KXAN has confirmed a district court judge granted an injunction to utility and associates to give time to sort out the disagreement. KXAN investigator Robert Maxwell is on top of this major development. And I just got off the phone with a lawyer for the company, a utility, and he tells me the district court judge granted that temporary injunction a couple hours ago. He offered no other comment. It comes a couple weeks after utility declared their intention to file suit. In an earlier letter to the city manager and mayor, utilities attorneys wrote the city didn't follow its own solicitation rules when it put that contract up for bids. Days before that, I told you how the city of Austin's own purchasing department shut down an initial protest from utility. That was just before full city council approved the five-year contract with Taser. All along, utility out of Georgia has argued its $9 million bid was far lower than the winning bid from Taser. That contract is worth $12 million and does not include the purchase of an iPhone for each police officer, another separate $5 million contract. APD has since told me the iPhones were being considered before the body cam bid. Meantime, the district court docket I looked at this afternoon shows another hearing involving the two parties August 1st. And I'll keep following what happens next in this as Austin remains the last major Texas city without body cameras on its police officers. Robert, Shannon. Robert.